In today's digital age, you have probably heard the term digital ecosystem thrown around. But what exactly does it mean? At its core, a digital ecosystem is a network of interconnected digital platforms, tools and services. It's like a natural ecosystem, but instead of plants and animals, you have apps and websites. Think of when you send a picture from your album directly to Instagram or Twitter or when you create a playlist on Spotify and then share it directly on Facebook. These are prime examples of a digital ecosystem at work. Major tech companies like Apple, Google and Microsoft have their own digital ecosystems. These ecosystems are designed to keep users within their network of services, offering seamless integration and a unified user experience. Same happens in the network of education. Ever use an LMS like Moodle or Blackboard? It's not just a platform to upload assignments or check grades. It's a full-blown digital ecosystem. Teachers can share resources, students can collaborate on projects, and everyone can participate in forums. All these tools and features, interconnected and working in harmony, create a dynamic learning environment. When setting up a digital ecosystem, you need to consider carefully who your user base is going to be. Imagine you want to develop a digital ecosystem within the educational system. The different groups could be formed by, for example, the teaching staff, which would work basically as content creators and trainers, the students, who would correspond to the content consumers, the educational platforms, that is, an LMS, a proctoring service, etc., and the administrative staff. It's a very convenient way to have everything you need in one place. And that's digital ecosystems in a nutshell. If you want to delve deeper into digital ecosystems and everything you should consider to safely use them, we recommend you also read our blog article at small.net. At Smalltech, we develop a proctoring solution, Small, that uses machine learning and artificial intelligence to help businesses and educational institutions guarantee integrity under digital and online assessments. We hope this video helped you gain insight into digital ecosystems. If you liked it, please give us a like and share the video. See you in the next one.